We're looking to make that invisible cow. That cow that just comes in, does their thing, gets bred once or twice, goes dry, calves again. That's the kind of cow we're hoping to build more of in the future, breeding towards that invisible cow. Our perfect Jersey cow is uh, high yielding, but with also high components and a good feed efficiency. So we look for about a 1.65 to 1.7 energy corrected milk to dry matter intake ratio. So we're limited by, by state laws on water quality and air to, to a footprint that we can have a certain amount of cows, and that's kind of where we're at our max right now. Just honing down efficiencies and making a much more profitable, efficient cow that's just going through that barn every day. When we started doing genomics and kind of really strategizing where our animals were going to come from, we started seeing really great gains in our net merit. And then we kind of hit a ceiling. You know, you can only go so far before you kind of run out of runway. So, you know, what else do we do? How else do we advance these genetics? And IBF was, you know, it was out there. It wasn't real heavily used, but it was certainly an option. We talked to several different companies. We didn't just go straight to Transova. We did do some trials. Transova, they did a better job. And so we've been with them for, I think, five years now uh, for our IVF program and, and developing embryos from some of the elite genetics and creating elite genetics as well. So I think it was 2010, my dad sent some heifers to Transova back east and was working them there, uh, shipping embryos out here. There wasn't really a facility in California doing a lot of IVF yet. We were hauling them down to Tulare every couple weeks. It's pretty hard on the cows that were going down there, so we kind of talked to Transova and see if we couldn't build a facility here on our site, bringing some of the neighbor's animals and uh, where we could do a few more animals and have it a lot easier to move our cows onto the, into the Transova lab. I think the biggest reason to do this is just if you want to stay in business in the dairy world, you need to be efficient, you need cows that perform for you, and it gives you a lot of control over what you can create and a lot of them. And I spend a lot of time with working with Transova and focusing on this program, and it's you know really key to our business to create these high-end females, and not, not just high-end, just really productive animals and keeping those coming into our herd. So they're a big part of our success and what's going on here. Transova's been really good to work with. The people that are on site every other week are professional, they're clean. The data points that we get from them, we keep working and evolving the data that we want to see and, and work with, and they've been very helpful in helping us to develop some of the data points we want to see for our own program. They want us to succeed. It's just really compounded the type of cattle we have here, the type of cattle we want, and the type of cattle other people really want too. We've got a lot of bulls that go into stud. We've got a lot of animals we can, can sell on the open market and keep propagating more of them. Really glad to be working with a company that can work back with us and help us achieve our goals.